Okay, so can you tell me your story, please? We're here at the Arboretum. It's five, five minutes after four on Saturday. Start with you. I was not able to get in. They shut the doors early. We thought it was open. It's a beautiful, beautiful sunny day at the Botanical Gardens. We thought it was open till five because that's what the sign says. And I guess they changed the rules without letting anyone else know. Well, why do you, why do you think it shouldn't be open like dawn to dusk, for example? I mean, can you think of a reason? No reason why it shouldn't be open at dawn to dusk. And how do you feel about having to show an ID to get in here to prove you're from San Francisco? Yeah, otherwise you have to pay $7. Yeah. I didn't know that. Really? I don't have an ID that proves that I'm from San Francisco, even though I am. Oh, I do have my yeah, school ID. ID. But still. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm, I personally, I'm personally think it's outrageous. I think it's outrageous. It should be a public area. And you shouldn't have to pay. It. Right, well, the thing is, we already pay $1.6 million towards the expenses of this place. Oh, yeah. And then the Botanical yeah, Garden Society is collecting the my fees. My tax money pay for this. My friend should be able to come in. Yeah, we should have it open later too on I a Saturday. Have to go with just him. He should come too. Yeah. Just because we're the only ones skinny enough to fit through the bars. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how long have you lived here? I lived here for two years. I lived here for seven months. And if you came here, say with your, say you had a girlfriend in the East Bay, and you came here with a girlfriend, and she had to pay seven dollars, how would she feel? She would feel excluded. And how do you think you would feel if you were a tourist and you came here to San Francisco and, and ordinary people did, and people could show residency didn't need to pay and separate and they need to pay seven dollars? I feel excluded there also. Yeah. Sucks. 